that you can't seem to hold your head up. David, amen, was in that shape and Ishbanab thought surely, amen, he, was, he had David. Amen, he was about to kill David. I'm convinced, amen, he could have killed David according to scripture, amen, but there was another that stepped in beside him. Abishai, amen, come to his aid. He was a mighty man, a mighty man of war. He was a mighty man of the King David. He was, praise God, a man that was willing to stand in the gap if you will Whoa, praise God got right in beside David honey listen against Ishmael amen my listen took upon himself the battle amen of the giant and don't you know the Bible said he destroyed he killed the giant that day and don't you know the congregation if you will of Israel amen my the children amen and the families of David came to his side Whoa, Oh, they encamped themselves about him to protect him. Why? Because they loved him and they knew he was the light of Israel. Boy, there's a lot in that story. What do you mean, preacher? I mean, it shows you and me how we ought to be with one another. When we see our brother or sister struggling, we ought to step up beside them. Amen. I'll tell you what, God showed me, James, it ain't no time to follow behind them. It's time to get up beside them. Get your arm around them. Let them know you're there with them. Amen. In the midst of the battle. Amen. My, it's also good to know that, uh, praise God, uh, when you're too tired uh, and you're too weak uh, and the battle seems too strong, uh, it's always good to know uh, that somebody's got your back. Uh, well, I'll tell you today, uh, amen, there isn't any greater that I found uh, outside of Jesus Christ. Uh, honey, he's my listen, a friend uh, that sticketh closer than a brother. Uh, as his word said, he never leaves us uh, and nor forsakes us. Uh, he'll go with us uh, right through uh, until the end. Uh, Oh, he's my refuge and my strength. He's a very present help in time of trouble. He is the everlasting, the almighty, the ever wonderful and living God. Amen. I challenge you, amen, this morning. My, listen, as the battles of life weigh heavy upon you. Amen, you may be a Christian. He said, Brother James, I'm a Christian. Amen, David was an anointed man of God. But David had his troubles. Amen. He had a hard road to tow after Goliath. Amen. He faltered and he failed God. And still yet God loved him. Isn't that something? Sometimes the church world has trouble with that. When they see a brother or sister falter or fail, amen, instead of loving them, they want to shun them. Amen. Not the church I belong to, uh, amen, because the church I belong to uh, is of a living God, amen. Uh, it's a merciful God. Uh, he's a gracious God, uh, and he's a loving God. Amen. He don't forsake you when you're in trouble. It's when he comes on the scene, right. amen. Here, amen, David went through all these storms of life uh, and had grown older and weaker. Uh, and my, listen, don't you know, uh, even though, praise God, uh, the enemy thought he had him, uh, amen, David still uh, would prevail uh, and David still uh, would have victory and David still uh, would reign in the stead of Almighty God uh, because God uh, had placed him there. Amen. I challenge you this morning to just a few thoughts. Have you ever felt like you were all alone in this world? You knew people cared about you, but still nobody knew what you were going through. I guarantee you most of you felt that way sometime or another, and if you haven't, you probably will. Amen. Nobody understands you. You're probably right as far as people here on earth. It's hard to understand another individual because God made you unique and special. You're different than me and I'm different than you, amen. God created us that way, but there is one that knows uh, your innermost secret uh, and your greatest desire. He knows all things the word of God says. He knows, praise God, the thoughts and the intents. Just now listen, not just your thoughts, but the intents of your heart. Amen. He knows them this morning. The Bible said he knows you so well that the hairs of your head are numbered. Some of you are looking around thinking he knows some of us better than he does others. Amen. 
but he knows you this morning and he loves you this morning and he's never put us in a place to fail. Nowhere through the word of God has ever witnessed, amen, in the writing of God's word has God put anyone he's called to do a work for him in a position of failure. Anything God's called, anything God's purposed, and anything God's designed was to succeed. You, amen, that are saved, born again, washed by the blood of the Lamb this morning, amen, can raise your little hand and thank him this morning. He didn't make you a failure. You're not going to be a failure, but praise be unto God. You've got a blessing lying ahead. And if you're not saved this morning, you can be. You can be because of what this man stepped in to do. The enemy is out to slay you. He's out to kill, steal, and destroy you. Amen. This morning, there's nothing good. Amen. That'll come of serving the devil. And the Bible said you serve one master or the other. You cannot serve God and mammon at the same time. You cannot this morning. Praise be unto God, though. God's made a way through his beloved son, Jesus. Jesus Christ uh, through the death, uh, burial, and resurrection uh, that you might be born again uh, into the family of God. But you have to receive that. You see, David could have stopped Abishai. You say, Brother James, how could he stop him? He was weak and old. He was still king. And if David had told Abishai to step down, Abishai was the man that sought to please his king, he would have stepped aside. But David knew he needed help in his life. He was at a place he needed help and God sent it his way. I'm satisfied David was thankful for Abishai that day. What a change it made. What a turning point in David's life. Well, Brother James, what's that got to do with me? God has sent someone your way. His name is Jesus Christ. He sent him, amen, to make a change and a difference in your life. He's, amen, he sent him, praise God, uh, amen, to fight the battle that you cannot win this morning uh, on your own. Um, you can't win it, uh, amen. What do you mean, preacher? You can't get to heaven, uh, amen, without Jesus. Uh, you can't overcome the devil uh, without Jesus. Uh, you can't know what joy unspeakable uh, and full of glory is uh, without Jesus. Uh, you can't understand what it means uh, to praise a living God uh, and without Jesus, amen. Uh, you can't know the joys uh, of the blessings of being freed from the shackles and the chains of sin without Jesus Christ. But God sent his only begotten son that you might be freed from your sin. He sent him to step in your place and to fight the battle for you. Amen. He's come to give you, amen, what all hearts truly desire. It's victory. It's victory. It's victory. And by the blood of the Lamb, you can have it today. Amen. David made his mistakes. I have this, I get told this every once in a while, preacher. I, get, I like this. The world always trying to tell the church how to live. Amen. 